We're going to vote by all the people to invest in our kids, in our colleges, in our future. That's what Yes on 30 is all about. Governor Brown stopped in the Central Valley yesterday, part of his five-city last-minute push for Proposition 30. But the latest polls show the initiative is losing a little bit of ground. We're joined this morning by our political analyst, Ken Price, with Baker, Manick, and Jensen. Good morning. Thank you. I haven't seen you on Election Day in a while. It's been a while. Yeah, so it's good to have you back in the CBS 47 fold. Well, thanks for having me. So I'm pretty excited about Election Day. We're expecting a decent turnout, right? Yeah, it uh, should be very significant. I guess the, uh, the Elections Department is looking at 70 percent which is impressive it uh, should be a hundred percent but we, you know that's another story <laughs> yeah so we're, we're talking right now about the state propositions prop 30 a lot of money has been poured into mm. this governor brown's been touring the state how do you think it's going to do well, there, the, there's some thought now that 30 could go down. Um, it was polling well over 50%, and recently it's actually slipped. Um, the problem, f at least for the governor, is Prop 38 at yeah. this point. And Prop 38 is interesting. 38 was drafted by a public interest lawyer by the name of Molly Munger, who's based out of Pasadena, mm -hmm. whose brother is uh, opposed to both Prop 30 and 38. So, so yeah. Molly is, is, is funding Prop 38, and her, and her brother is the, primarily the one who's funding the anti-30 ads. See, we've talked about this before, how it always seems on election day, um, especially general elections like this, California has so many propositions. I think the most one year was when there were like 16 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, do you think it dilutes it, especially when you're talking about three different tax initiatives here? Yeah. Some dealing with education, some not like it just it seems confusing it is confusing we have 11 on the ballot this mm -hmm. year and they are very very significant we have as you mentioned we have tax issues mm -hmm. we also have the abolition with the the end of the death penalty yeah, how, do, how is that trending right now well apparently it, th there's some thought that it's gonna pass yeah and that is a huge significant issue for law enforcement mm -hmm. in the state of California we have a modification of the three strikes law yeah so we have this massive number of of initiatives very significant and then wrapped around that we have the president of the United States up on the ballot I don't know if you knew that but oh he's on yeah the ballot. <laughs> I heard something about that I heard something about that now do you think that the results will skew a certain way if more say Republicans turn out to the polls as opposed to Democrats as far as some of these tax initiatives yeah I mean they all go down well clearly the thought is if Republicans go then they're less likely to pass yeah the 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 governor is banking on the fact that this is a presidential year uh -huh. we should have greater turnout and because if you have greater turnout that tends to favor Democrats mm -hmm. and more liberal voters who tend to support tax increases. All right it'll be interesting to see sure we're gonna will. get your thoughts in just about 10 minutes on the presidential race so stick around for that because I can't wait to hear your, what you think about that. Sounds one. good. Thank you. All right and this is Ken Price our, our political analyst with Baker, Manick and Jensen. 520 we'll have another look at your CBS 47 Fresno Skyview camera right now. Let's see how it's doing. Well it's dark because it's only 520 in the morning but Jenny will have your pinpoint forecast and it's another warm one. You have to be a lot more careful, it doesn't matter where you live. Players on the Fresno Monsters hockey team ripped off. Wait till you see how cops caught the bad guys.